My English name is Kathy Povester, and I come from a community called Geraldton. Um, the First Nation I belong to is Kidogamine First Nation, which is just down the highway from Geraldton. And um, I am a Bear Clan member, and I am second degree Medewin. Bonjour, Annie. Turn in the nation because Michigan First Nation in Dunji, McNaughton and Dozum. Hi, I'm returning to Nikan. I'm from Michigan Gogamong First Nation, and I am a part of the Turtle Clan. Um, my name is Tisha. My spirit name is um, Eastern Shell Woman, and I'm from Bereskin Lake First Nation, and I am from the Wolf Clan. My name is Kalen Pelke. I go by Cameron Pichagabo, and uh, my spirit name is the one who brings the Thunderbirds. Um, so I just introduce myself to you. Um, my spirit name, my clan. My spirit name is later of the day. I come from the Eagle Clan, and I come from Fort William First Nation. I have been uh, dancing now. This is my fiftieth year anniversary uh, that I've been attending powwows and dancing. And um, back when I was a young girl, we never had powwows. We had gatherings when we used to sing and dance. And an elder, um, David Charles, used to sing for us in from my community. And he taught us how to dance. And me being one of the older ones, um, kind of had to lead a lot of the younger ones. So um, I've had experience a long time with our culture and um, of, of dance and song and in many other forms as well. There's something really special about being at a powwow. And then as I became older, um, and you know, as every human being, every, especially being a youth, there's so much um, uh, trials and tribulations and barriers um, when you're trying to grow. And um, when I danced, I would find peace um, I would find, um, I would be, find myself getting centered, um, and grounded to Mother Earth, to the spirits around me, and, um, just being able to, um, be myself and enjoy, um, uh, the moment in time. Because when you, you get into that circle, everything that's happening out in that work, in the world, you it it gives you a break and it gives you time to reflect and make better decisions for yourself and then as i became a mother um i wanted my children to dance i wanted them to feel how i felt in the circle and so we introduced them to dancing and singing and so my children have been dancing since they've been able to walk and now my grandchildren, as a grandmother, the majority of my grandchildren are dancing as well. And it makes my heart feel so warm knowing that they're, you know, being a part of this circle. And then when you're in the circle, um, you're at a powwow, it's a gathering of people. But then there's many ceremonies that happen at Apollo. We all come together and pray for a family or an individual. We all come together to celebrate life, you know. Um, and when we're dancing and we're singing, we're all in prayer of song and dance. And um, to know that my ch grandchildren, my children, are actively in this role. You know, it uh, it it leaves me in a place that when I leave this world, I know that they'll still be in a good place. Because when you have those challenges in life, um, and you uh, allow the Creator to take over and guide you in your paths, 
what you what you do when you enter that circle the creator helps you and it brings you to a better place and then we're directed to different ceremonies you know where where um outside of the power circle we go to different other kind of ceremonies that help us in our life we gain friendships and that turn into love for other people and people that are not your blood relatives but they become your brothers sisters aunties uncles grandparents so you're never without family no matter where you go you know and so because with the circle of life we lose family members but in that circle when we're uh attending these powwows, you gain so much extended family members and adopted family members. Um, I can travel through powwow country and I find family all over the place, you know, and um, it's just, uh, it's just a really good place to be. And when you have your, um, your regalia on you, you take the time to learn about your regalia and what it means. You take the time to put together your regalia, um, either w through your own means or help of others, you get it together and you and you carry it. And your beadwork, you know, our beadwork um, carries a spirit as well as well as your regalias. So, like you become one with all these spirits, and it's just um, truly an amazing feeling to be. A part of that. When you walk this way of life, it opens doors and opportunities that you went not before. It opens up a healing journey that you might have had coming, but it kind of speeds up that process a little bit. You know, it's uh, it's just. Uh, a really wonderful way of life. I know what I was going to talk about. Today, and from when I was young all the way to today, there was um, contest powwows. There are powwows that have specials to honor the memory of a family member. And um, then there's uh, traditional powwows. And a lot of people have a hard time with this. When I, um, I when I was younger, I wasn't uh, even though I loved dancing, I wasn't the athletic dancer, you know. Like, and I sometimes couldn't get my left foot to do what my right foot wants to do, you know. And um, and uh, we didn't have um the same stresses that we have today. So our regalias were, were very simple. And, um, cause we were learning, you know? And, um, so a lot of times, you know, I wouldn't place, I wouldn't, um, um, you know, be rewarded for my abilities. And, um, but, and, and not everyone can, realistically, you know, if they have a top three and there's 30 dancers out there, there's still going to be 27 people that are not going to place. And, you know, I, myself and my children and my grandchildren, you know, in life, it's like a comparison. In life, you have many challenges. You're contesting, you're contesting every day of your life. And when you're at the powwow and you're doing these specials or these contests and you don't place, it teaches you to accept that you, like it te it's a good way of teaching you to accept that you can't always be the top three but you're still a part of that circle and you have every right to be a part of that circle. And, um, it teaches you to work harder, 
to get better. Just like at work, you know, we compete for jobs. And when we get that job, we have to keep learning. We have to, you know, work harder. And if we don't get that job, we go get education. We get more skills. We, we learn more about it. And that's how I look at these competition polls and the specials. Because in that circle, it's a very gentle way to learn that. You know? And I don't know... If I don't think there's a person in this world that doesn't strive to be better. That isn't competing in something in their life. And so when you have that, um, you learn how to lose where you don't want to hurt yourself, where you don't want to hurt others. You know, it says that's a great value a great lesson to learn in life and so and I hear so much controversy about that on social media at the gatherings and all over the place you know but if I had a choice for my child or myself to to not succeed in something it would be want to be in that circle because it's gentle and people will help you if you ask for it. You use that same, you know? And um, and when the families are having specials and it's in memorial of a loved one. So you could be the best dancer in the world, but the dancer beside you dances exactly the same as that loved one. And they want to honor that dancer. It doesn't matter if you're the most athletic or the best dancer. They want to honor that one. You know? So when you're in these specials, you never know what they're looking for. Right? Because it's an honor of a loved one. And you're, and when you're dancing, you're supposed to be in prayer. You're supposed to be praying for yourself. You're the people around you. The drummers, the singers. You're praying for it, the land, the spirits. You know? So does it matter if you win or lose? No. And, um, but as I've gotten older, um, I've learned more. I do place occasionally. And that's another teaching. Because when you win, you don't want to be a braggart about it. You learn to be humble. You learn to share your winnings with others. You learn to um, to respect uh, and and the respect. You learn to respect being honored with achieving that that goal. You know, and sometimes that's the bigger lesson because we have to learn how to win as well, and so. For me, that's the most gentle place to learn those things. You know, kids go to school, they're track racing. They're trying to win first, second, and third. You're in sports, you're in teams, you're trying to win first, second, and third. So what's the difference, you know? And and I just, it, it really, um, um, it really makes me sit back and think, you know, when people make these uh, these words of criticism. You know, um, instead of criticizing, you know, get out there and learn more. You know, get out there and 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 uh, share your teachings, your knowledge in a good way. Don't hang on to that negativity. Be positive. You know, turn what you see negative into a positive. Everything in life, every challenge you go through, and being in that circle teaches you that. So that's what I wanted to say. Anyway. When I was little, I used to jingo dress dance a lot and fancy show. So, but I stopped wearing a bit. But recently, I started getting back into like dancing, and I found the love there. I, I didn't really grow up with the culture, so when in school, you know, I started learning about like native people, 
I was like, oh my God, I'm one of those. <laughs> and um, so I started trying to like reconnect in my own way, even though it was like really hard for me because I didn't really know where to go or where to start. Um, but my parents did used to like take me to powwows when I was younger. And I just remember always wanting to like dance with them and then seeing like all the colors. And I was like, I want to be like that. So, um, my Gokum gifted me a sewing machine and I made my first regalia, which is this. And that's when I started dancing. I've always danced, apparently, but this picture, um, my mom told me a story about it, like the night before I reg like dancing in that regalia, I couldn't walk. My mom told me that night, nice. you can't walk, you can't wear that. Next morning I started walking. <laughs> When I was younger, my grandma made me my first jingle dress. Um, and it started off with that, and it was orange and plaid. I remember that. And then my mom had got had then found herself in a relationship with my with my dad. And uh, just as a family, um, we would travel everywhere together um, as a family, and it was a good time. We'd go from community to community, or, and I've been doing that ever since. Well, before when I didn't dance, I felt like really sad. I felt really stuck because I didn't know who I was. And I didn't know how to express myself. But when I started dancing, I felt like all this make like negative feelings, negative spirits lifting up and just going away. It's like my type of healing. I know with a lot of my uh, past, I know I wear this because I wear this for my father. It was one of the missing and murdered indigenous men. I just felt like that was my type of healing, just to dance for him and dance for like anyone that got murdered, anyone that went missing and never found. Each time I step into the circle, I feel this, like I feel like it's coming through my feet, up through my mocks and, and up to my heart. There's like, there's like definitely like a big difference, but like, I didn't really know like how to describe it. And I think something, I think like today's youth were kind of like made with this like trauma we carry because of intergenerational trauma, like it's in our biology and we're born with it. But I think for me, like the way I dance and powwow, it kind of made it easier to deal with that like we can get past this, that we're resilient. When I didn't, I was really, there was like nowhere to turn to, I felt like. But recently, when I am going through a hard time, having like powwows and having like the smudging practice, like it really helps because it's something I can turn to now. And it's something I hold very close to me. And just being able to dance it out, even like when I'm crying, because I have cried a powwows, it's really great and it's really good to heal does it bring you more connection to your identity yeah i really do because just being in the circle it makes me feel closer to creating as like native as that sounds yeah i think growing up like i was missing like a large part of my identity part of and i'm still kind of missing it but it definitely like made me feel more grounded about like who I was when I started dancing and I don't know I didn't have that before and now I do and it just it makes everything easier it feels nice to bounce back between both her dailyas and just be myself and dance however I want to dance now that I'm back in the circle after that break I feel so much better I have let that negativity go. And that's my biggest advice I could ever give someone. Feel what you need to feel for however long you need to feel that, but then go back. This circle is where I found my healing. Just being there, you meet new people and you meet new relations. People become your family. I feel like I'm closer to my pal family than my own biological family. And that really means a lot because I wish I could have had those family members there for me growing up when I didn't but I had my Powell family 
I feel more connected, especially with like, I'm really lucky to have friends who also dance and my little community is like my friend Tisha and my friend Nikanakakwe when we do attend powwows together. I mean, it was kind of between like there's good and there's bad. I know a lot of people that I've met on the Powell trails, they were actually really accepting and they're like really, really nice and they encourage that good behavior that I never really got that encouragement in a good way, but yeah. When I first started dancing, it was really intimidating because there were so many different teachings and different views on powwow, like what's right or what's wrong. How do I know what's right or wrong? And I wouldn't do things the right way, but then someone else would say that I did it the right way. So it was kind of confusing. Um, but in the end, we're all there for the same reason. We're all there to heal and pray. And when we're all dancing, I do feel that sense of community, that we're all there for that reason. For a large part of my life, like I was like struggling, especially like with like mental health, but that sense of community made me feel like less alone because sometimes it could get like really intense where it's like, I'm the only person who understands how I feel. And that's true to an extent, but also everyone probably has feelings like that. And then when I'm dancing in that circle, it's like, I know that the women or people, two spirit beings that are dancing with me they all have had that feeling before and it makes me feel less alone. It's really important to me because we both like understand and we both love our culture and we want to revitalize it and learn our language together. There's more than just the dancing. Like there's so much healing that comes with Paolo, you know, meeting, new, meeting the new family and, you know, um, socializing, as well as having those laughs and eating good food, of course, because I never really got that. I never really heard. So my family had struggles and addictions, right? I know they lost, said a lot of stuff for me being out here doing my own thing, not drinking. They put me down for not drinking, not doing drugs and all that. And my whole life, it was just a struggle because I, um, I never really uh, felt included. They had favorites. So being on the power grounds was just something that felt good. That those people don't even know who I am and they accept me for who I am, like being too spirit or being uh, just myself. Um, so like I have this cool friend, their name's Eternity. And then I also have another cool friend, her name's McNaki Quay and yeah, those are my powwow buddies. I always dance with them. Whenever there's a powwow, I hit them up. I met a lot of, like, people, like, uh, for example, the people at Soil, if you've ever heard of them. Like, they really inspired me to get back into, like, dancing and everything and, like, the teachings. And I'm really happy to be a part of, like, that organization. Not a part of it, but one of their youths who, like, attend regularly. My mom recently came back to the circle and started dancing again. She's reclaiming her power. I'm so proud of her for that. And she's such a big inspiration to me. Just being able to share that with my mom, even my partner, my little brother, my dad, my, my aunts, my uncles. It's an amazing feeling. And there's no feeling like it. One of my inspirations was uh, my cousin Stephanie. You probably know her, but she passed quite a while ago. But she was like one of my closer relatives. I felt like, I want to do that. I want to dance. I want to be like her. It feels really great, honestly. At first, I was a little like nervous because I didn't want others to laugh at the way I dance. But soon enough, I just started dancing for like me. And I usually go to Palos to my friends, so I also like dance with them. She's really cool. It kind of feels like I'm young again. 
and <laughs> as if I'm not young, but it kind of brings me back to like when I was a kid and like just feeling free, like not having to worry so much. Um, you know, when I step in the circle, it's like all that washes away and I'm like present and I'm just focusing on looking pretty <laughs> and moving my arms and my body in a healing way. But I can't really explain it, but there's like so much emotions, like happiness, feeling proud, proud to be like bringing back that culture. Just the stuff that happened to our people. I feel like it's nice to uh, get out there and dance and dance for them. To dance at a powwow, it feels like the only place that I found, you know, safety, that I found happiness, the place where I felt most welcome, most comfortable was in that arena and at that, you know, in ceremony and that powwow. And so entering that circle, um, sharing that dance floor, it's such an honor. 